Okay, so I bought some stuff for the kayak, the Hobie Passport here. Um, I'm going to put a fish finder on, hopefully, and with a Scotty swing arm for the transducer. And I uh, also bought a wilderness battery and a Scotty mount. So the parts that I've got, and I'll link them. I have a Scotty Universal fish finder mount, uh, part 368. Also got the Scotty arm here, if you can see. Uh, this is a transducer arm. This is part 141. And I've got this wilderness battery. 12 volt, volt I think it's 5 amp battery. It's supposed to be good for fish finders. And also charging your phones. They're still in the box. And I got the, um, the Garmin. I already opened the box. Striker plus four with transduce, uh, transducer. And this is a four inch screen. Garmin, uh, it's brand new. Just just received it a couple days ago. Um, the transducer mount. There's the transducer. It's a dual scan transducer. Um, the strap, some ties, some accessory parts. The mount. To hold the fish finder and the wiring, which I will plug into the wilderness fish finder. Or I'm sorry, battery with some screws for the mount and some instructions, which really aren't that good looking at them so far. Uh, but this is the documentation came with it. It's kind of kind of vague, but um, I go and also got the Hobie in case I decide to drill a hole. I got the, um, the throughput uh, hole plug. I'll have to get some putty too. And let me put this over here. This is the arm itself. And I'll be installing this hopefully tonight or tomorrow on the Hobie kayak over here. I don't need a battery tender because this is. This wilderness will plug in directly to which, as a matter of fact, I'll do that now. I'll plug this in so I can charge it overnight. Get this guy. I need a bigger workspace in here. And this is what this comes with some documentation, the actual unit. The 12 volt plug, and they're all water sealed. The five, the five volt. This is the uh, charge the unit, which I'll plug in now. It just has a little zip tie on it. And just plug this directly. Matter of fact, I don't even need that. Oh yeah. I'll unplug my Samsung. From the charger. This is plugs directly in. And if you look at these, these are pretty cool. They are all water sealed. They have little O-rings on them. Not water resistant, but uh, but they're pretty good. I'll plug this guy in. And there's the lights showing the status of the power. I'll let that charge. It also comes with the fish finder. Which is red and black, and I'll install them later. Comes with a heat shield and two connectors. The wilderness lithium battery is charged 100% right now. You have uh, five blue lights when you know it's charged. So, and eventually I'm going to connect this red and black to the red and black on the Garmin Fish Finder. And the other uh, excess cables of blue and brown aren't for this, they're for something else. So I'll just cut cut them off. And here's the Garmin. Here's the transducer mount. The transducer. Some accessories. And like I said, I have the, the Scotty arm. Which I will be... Still move this box out of the way. I don't need this right now.
I will be installing this arm on the kayaks. It comes with a track system, but I don't need this because I'm going to use the existing track system on the kayak. So it comes with all these parts and some documentation. It does come with this track system, but I don't need it since I have the track system here already, which I'm going to mount right here. And this is some of the tools I'm going to be using. Um, the crimper, some electrical tape. I have a voltmeter just in case. I want to just check everything. And I have a drill set here in case I do decide to drill a hole, which I'm not sure if I'm going to do yet. Um, this, with this wilderness battery pack, I may just put it in a, in a in a bag, in a dry bag, and just kind of run the cable close by too. But I, I have the option. I do have um, the throughput plug that I got from Hobie. I'll probably put like right here. Um, if I do decide to do that, but I, I'm still thinking about it, so I have options now with this different battery. So okay, so let's see. And also had the RAM mount, this the universal mount. All right, so here's how the this uh, transducer arm mount goes together. So you have your track piece here, and it just screws in. And this is part 141. This is the actual arm with this big arm here, this screw on, and it just has these two little like gaskets, blue and yellow, and they kind of just merge together. You just feed it through, and you just physically turn this clockwise, obviously. Righty tighty. And you can obviously adjust it, make it tighter or looser. And then this will actually feed onto your track system, onto the kayak. Right here, when you're ready to go. Right there, and then you'll just slide down. And I could do this, always after, and always slide this off, which is nice and simple. And then this guy here, the arm, the slide part, slides in right here. And it just tightens with these little wing nuts. And a little square washer in the inside here. So there's two of them. So I'm just going to finish tightening this one. So I've got to start loosening it. Then I'll do the same thing. One down here. Feed them in. Feed through your little wing nut here. It's a little tough to get this little washer in. In here. Hold up your finger and just tighten with the wing nut. Hope you can see that. This part's a little tedious because you gotta get that wing nut and the, the screw to fit in, fits into place. And once it does that, then you tighten it. And there we go, tighten it up, and then it slides in, fits into place. This is good too because you can swing the arm up if you want to get out of it if you're in shallow water. And then you have this last piece here, which looks like it's just arm for a transducer. Oops, go to this side. Looks like it goes like 
like that. It looks like the same concept. Screw, wing nut. Washer. We'll go in this little crevice here. If you see, the same concept. Let's tighten it up. Okay, so now that we have the arm uh, installed onto the kayak, and I also put the top of the, the uh, Scotty mount in place, so that's ready to go. So now we're going to start messing with this transducer. So the transducer just pops in to the bottom of the mount here, and then you have this long screw. Here's the parts you have. You have these two little clips, the cover piece, a little spool piece that goes in between, Looks like a washer, rubber washer, two little metal washers, uh, a nut, four little screws, and two bigger screws. And I think some of this stuff I won't need because I think some of it's for if you're uh, screwing into the back of a, of a boat, etc. So we're going to um, see what we need here. So I'm at least going to stick the arm in, set the arm up now. So it looks like this we'll need is the, uh, it also comes with instructions. Not very clear because I think it's more suited for a boat. So let's see you put the one washer on. The long screw here. And then you have the, your, um, your rubber mount. And it looks like this fits through here. Hopefully you can see this. And this is going to be tough getting this little spool thing in here. Hold it in. Uh, I'm going to use a little needle nose here, maybe that will help. Go if you can see here. Hopefully you can see that. So it looks like a feast right through there. And you have another little washer. It goes on this end. Now obviously you have a little nut here. It goes on the end. I'll just kind of screw it on in place right now before I tighten it up. I'm not going to face an everything too tight. And also you have to feed the cable through, it looks like here. Now we'll go to the Scotty arm. And then we'll crimp that all into place. But I just want to get it all together here. I think these clips are for if you're mounting on a boat. Um, but the arm, or the, I'm sorry, the transducer is together now on the bottom of this little mount. There's Gunner barking. And it looks like this. Probably go in place here. Or maybe this is for uh, the back here. I'm looking at the instructions, I don't see where this goes. In reference to this, might be a cover if you're out, uh, like I said, screwing onto the boat. But we'll we'll look at this in a second. So we have that, and also have the um, the Scotty mount. And like I said, I already start putting this in place here, and this will screw in here 
with a, another nut and a, a bolt. Like I said, the arm's in place. As you can see here, the arm's in place. And these parts so far I used are the arm is the Scotty 141. Hope you can see that. And the ramp, uh, I'm sorry, not the ramp mount, the Scotty Universal mount is part 368. Hope you can see that. And the Garmin I'm using is the Garmin Striker 4 or plus 4 as GPS. Looks like a nice little unit. I kind of want the Lowrance because I like the uh, the Lowrance. I like the parallel view, but I think for uh, having a paddle on that side where I'm going to be mounting this, I think it might be better not to have it take on as much real estate on the kayak. Alright, so this is together. So now I'm going to screw the fish finder mount onto the Scotty mount. And this is a little tricky because you have all these holes and it really needs to match up perfectly. And it's hard to see in this room right here, so I'm going to uh, mess with this here. And I have the screws for that right, right here. So we'll do this in a second here. I just want to get everything organized. Make sure this transducer is set up. So start to run this up to the, um, up in the arm here. So let's actually uh, undo this now. And I still have to screw it onto the arm, which should so I'm going to look at a second here. Do this guy. I'm obviously not going to need all this cable on, so I'm probably have to tie a lot of this up. Alright, so let's do that. Let's look at this, how this is going to go on. Oh, that's probably that is. It's probably the part at the bottom there. Okay. Alright, so let's set this up. Let's get everything ready. Okay, so I was I was a little wrong here. So this spool piece it doesn't look we need since we're obviously the bottom of, of Scotty arm is going to be the spool piece here. And I got two dogs out here barking now. <laughs> All it takes is one, then the the neighbor's dog starts barking too. All right, so it looks like you use this instead. And this will feed through. And then this washer will go back on. And then the nut. We'll go on here. I'm not crazy about fit on this but I guess it is what it is and I'll tighten this up looks like a little Phillips head screwdriver I'll do that in a second I don't do it yet though and then this guy goes back in here with the washer if you can see this it's kind of dark in here back up right. so then this you'll your line I guess you're gonna pull up here and then to strap it all in real tight. So, so the arm is, is essentially installed with the transducer. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to test, get ready to test the power with the battery and plugging in the, um, the 
fish finder itself. See if I have any juice. But uh, this spool piece, I guess we didn't need. Um, and if, if I'm wrong, I'll come back and look at that. I think a lot of this, these parts are for if you have it on a boat, like I said, not a kayak. So the assembly's, you know, almost halfway done. And I got to figure out how I'm going to tie these wires up. I don't know if I'm going to. I wish I had a better track system um, for this, but it is what it is, and I have to keep it nice and tight. I don't like the way this is hanging down. That must be a different. I'm thinking there's another way to hold this transducer on too. I don't think it's supposed to just be loose, I guess. And I think it's due to this space in here between. I don't know if you can see between the, the long screw and this arm. It's not. So I wonder if there's a piece that goes here, maybe, that holds this in. Yeah, we'll look at that. I'm going to research that for a second, make sure it's right before I, uh... But, it look, I mean, it's going to hold. I'm not worried about that. I just want it to be more secure, and I guess when I strap it down with the, with the zip ties, which it comes with a bunch of zip ties, it comes with this big zip tie and also a couple of smaller ones for the cables. So it, ha it has extra parts and extra pieces. So next I'm going to um, get the fish finder out. And I'm going to mount the bracket. So that's coming up next. So real quick, um, so some of the tools you're going to need for this. Uh, I would say some needle nose, a little Phillips head screwdriver. Also just, you don't really need this, but uh, or if you could use an impact driver or drill. Uh, and also I'm using a, a half inch socket for the one um, bolt, but you don't really need that because it kind of hand tightens, but just to really fasten it up. And um, like I said, I'm going to use some of uh, a little crimpers, some electrical tape, and I have a voltmeter just in case. And also, like I said, I have um, a drill. I might use a, a half inch or a five eighth inch, possibly an inch for the, um, the Hobie throughput on the hole, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do this though, because I don't know if I need to with this battery, because I'm probably just going to get a little sack for it, and, you, you know, because that way I can keep easy access to plug my phone in the charger, because you, you have, uh, on the wilderness unit, you have your USBs for phones, cameras, GoPro, whatever, and this is where we're going to be plugging in the, uh, the fish finder connection. So this is charged, I'm going to unplug this. I don't need that right now. So, I'm mounting the, um, the Scotty mount to the Garmin fish finder holder here. And then, like I said, it's just these little screws here, but I'm, I'm not going to put them in yet because I want to, um, I want to lock them down. I might even goop this up a little bit, but, um, I just want to make sure everything fits before I start tightening everything up. All right, so we had one difficulty. So the difficulty was the Scotty mount doesn't come with anything to really screw the Garmin fish finder. So I had to go buy some up. Some screws and washers. Uh, Eight thirty-two is by one and a quarter inch. With little tiny washers. So that should do the trick to mount this. Ugh. Out of everything so far, this has been the biggest pain in the butt. The easiest part, I would have thought. So I just need three, three screws, three washers. Let's line this guy back up. There it goes. That one here. Another one here. Pull them 
nuts. Oh, strap it. I still want a time. Washer. No, nope. dropping all the washers. I probably need screws this long, but Easier, faster to use a low impact driver. I'm like pulling it out right now. I'm afraid I'm also over torque it. Very good. Crack and place it. Salt place it. Oh wait, let's put the other well, heat shrink on the other side. So we put this guy right in there. And the connector, as far as you can get it. that down.
Sita. Heat shield on this side. down Go red to red. And the right hand pin nose has a little fuse. Crimp that down. shield over and I'm going to electrical tape it too but I'm going to test it first before I do that take the other end of the wilderness and we're going to plug it in so you hit the button twice I believe this the activate oh the five volt battery. is starting up and there it is if you can see that it is on I don't think it's a touch screen is it um, and there's a setup now I'm gonna start setting it up now um, but that's it now I guess gotta bite everything down strap everything in and that should be it and I'm still debating if I'm going to draw a hole for this because it's so small. I could probably leave it, like you know, I have a little backpack, so I can run it back to the to my crate or whatever. But I still may draw a hole, and I'll probably do it like right about here, just run it right into my basket here. So we'll we'll play, we'll see what we want to do with that. But uh, that's about it. It's hooked up, and it looks like it's working. Okay, one of the last things you want to do is. Heat shield, you want to just heat up. You don't really have to put it on it, but you can. But blow dryer would probably be a little better. Just kind of like uh, roll through it. 
Lower there. This kind of seals it on. And then I'll electrical tape it. So I'll probably go another coat over it too. Producer, the booty, I have this